This week, a steel shield set to be the largest movable structure ever built will be placed over the nuclear reactor in Chernobyl, finally containing the radioactive heart of the vast, highly contaminated site that the Soviet Union abandoned 30 years ago. But a smaller country like Japan can't abandon land or wait for decades. It has to clean up. Five years after the 2011 Fukushima meltdown, efforts to recover there are unprecedented in scale. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has announced a plan to move residents back as early as next spring. Isabel Young went to Fukushima to see Japan's response to the second largest nuclear catastrophe in history. Katsutaka Idugawa is the former mayor of Futaba, a town just a couple of miles from the Daiichi nuclear reactor. After the 2011 meltdown, the Japanese government evacuated every town within 20 miles of the reactor. More than 160,000 people were forced to leave to avoid deadly radiation exposure. Radioactive materials remain hazardous for hundreds of years. And yet, the Japanese government says it's going to clean up Fukushima and move everyone back by this March. But not everyone wants to go back. Will you ever move back here, do you think? Why? Japan's plan to clean up the accident is unprecedented. After Chernobyl's nuclear meltdown in 1986, the Russian government effectively gave up on the entire area, declaring everything within a thousand square miles of the reactor uninhabitable. Japan's cleanup effort, which covers over 600 square miles, is estimated to cost the government more than $180 billion. Dr. Kenji Jokawa works for the Ministry of Environment. How do you ensure the safety of your workers? Do you think that any of the workers could be getting sick from radiation exposure? But in October 2015, Japanese officials admitted that a former worker's leukemia could be linked to cleaning the nuclear reactor buildings. That worker had been exposed to roughly 20 millisieverts of alpha radiation in a year. Although this is the maximum allowable limit for radiation workers, it's 20 times higher than the International Atomic Energy Agency's standard for average citizens. Government records suggest that at least 9,000 other workers have been exposed to that amount of radiation or higher. Minamasoma has a public hospital less than 20 miles from the former reactor. Many of its patients are cleanup workers. お待たせしました。すみません。じゃあ一応調子に気やらせてください。はい、失礼します。ステージがまあ荒井さん<笑> Hiroshi Alai has been working on and off on the cleanup effort since 2011. He was diagnosed with stage 3 rectal cancer three months ago, though it's impossible to confirm that his cancer was actually caused by radiation exposure. Are you from Fukushima? Nagano. And why did you come to Fukushima? Okay, 
周り昨日ね震災の後に私も年も年なのでまあ,あの地元にいるよりまあこっちでちょっとまあいくらか稼ごうかなと思ってきたんですけどまあなかなかうまくはいきませんでしたけど。Radiation experts question if the cleanup effort, which has required tens of thousands of people spend lengthy periods of time near the reactors, will even be effective. Hey, do Okay. Dr. Shinzo Kimura is a radiation hygiene expert who's been studying Fukushima for over five years. This is the This is the 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 今この状況っていうのはこの苔から出てきている放射線を拾った音です。What's alarming is that this radioactive moss actually comes from outside the evacuation zone, and it contains two to three times the amount of radiation that is deemed safe by the Japanese government. Well, so that's going 1.5, 1.53, yes. 1.6.、Mm. So even according to The government's figures. This is a pretty dangerous level, right? Yes, yes. Much, much, of course. Kimura says that even if the Japanese government did manage to clean up all of Fukushima, they still wouldn't be protecting residents from radioactive snowfall and rain. His theory is that the real purpose of the cleanup effort is to convince the Japanese people that nuclear energy is reliable and safe. That way, the government can reopen the 45 reactors that were shut down by popular demand after the accident. Leading to a national energy crisis. Energy security The government didn't respond to our request for comment on these claims. これから帰還を進めようとしている飯舘村とか双葉町大熊町こういったところのレベルというのはそれよりもはるさらに10倍ぐらい高い線量の中に人が暮らさなければならない状況を作ろうとしているからそこは私はナンセンスだと考えますやはり福島の多くの場所は必ずしも安心して進める場所ではないと考えています The Japanese government admits that parts of Fukushima won't be habitable for many years Those who do move back will be living in a region pockmarked with cordoned off radiation hotspots, and some will be moving into homes within sight of the reactor itself. <laughs>